don't ever put your money on somebody else. <laughs> Simone oh, yeah. Biles is, uh, she's in her late 20s, but she's still amazing. Yeah, and she's the GOAT, as they say. Just uh, so many uh, records, so many medals for her, Karen. But you, wanna do any, you wouldn't want to do any gymnastics outside today. You might do that getting in your car because it's going to be so hot. Uh, I do want to let you know that we have issued an alert for uh, the dangerous heat that's on the way. Those feels like temperatures. So heat advisory and excessive heat warning in place today. Heat through July 4th remains in the forecast. But showers and storms on Friday and Saturday drop our temperatures temperatures into the 90s, but live look outside right now from our Fort Worth City Cam shows that blue sky kind of hazy out there. Heat advisory in effect until 7 does include the Metroplex. You can see where we have this magenta color. That's the excessive heat warning that's in effect at noon until 7 for feels like temperatures up to 112 degrees. Uh, so with that in mind, let's talk about that alert a little bit more and I pretty much not much more to say about it, except that we are going to be reminding you to take those heat safety precautions. Uh, the advisory still sticks around through the July 4th. I'll limit your time outside. Make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. Wear that light colored and loose fitting clothing if you can. Uh, the first alert satellite radar shows not a whole lot happening. No clouds out there to keep uh, keep you shaded as you're running some errands or maybe working in the yard. Already it feels like 101 at DFW. Actual temperature just 93 with that south wind at 15. Current temperatures, all of us are sitting in the low 90s right now, but when you factor in the humidity, it feels warmer than that. Addison's the one cooler spot at 88 degrees, but it feels like 102 right now. Love Field to 100, Waxahachie to 100 in Denton. You notice it feels like 103 in Tyler, but the west sides of North Texas, not much of a feels like temperature because the dew point is lower to the west. So what's ahead through the afternoon hours? We're up to 101 for the high temperature under sunny skies with that south wind at 10 to 15. So 101 today, tomorrow 100 in the forecast feeling even hotter than that. So it's actually going to make it to 104 in Breckenridge. What's interesting only into the upper 90s, mid 90s in the east sides. But when you have dew points in the 70s, that's where we're going to be dealing with those feels like temperatures in the dangerous category today, uh, possibly feeling like 111 in some spots. Other story here is Barrel continue to make its way towards the west northwest. Latest check shows uh, that there are hurricane watches, hurricane warnings in place and tropical storm warnings in place. Uh, the center of circulation, my graphic went away there but winds around 160 miles per hour moving to the west at 22 on that forecast track will continue to get closer towards Jamaica as a category four through Wednesday. Then the Yucatan this weekend about Thursday to Friday. Then this weekend, possibly a tropical storm may be approaching parts of South Texas. We have the breakdown in that upper high and allowing a cold front to move in Thursday into Friday. Friday, Saturday, that's our better rain chances for us. Uh, 50 to 60% chance highs only in the 90s through the weekend.